15 scary videos leaving more questions than answers. Oh, it's spooky season, so we're gonna check out these scary videos. I post new ones every day at 2.30 p.m. California time, so get there as soon as I post and I'll respond to your comments. And yeah, comment down below your favorite food. Let me know. Videos that you wouldn't want to watch at night, BT1. Ew. Bro. <gasps> Run. Just just run. Ew. You got the shakiest, ugly butt I've ever seen in my life. <gasps> what are you doing, bro? Run back! Oh, heck no, man. If you're out in the woods, don't be out in the woods. I can't believe people, like, actually go outside at night like that and investigate or they go camping. This is why, okay? Ew, got the ugliest, shakiest legs. Oh, girl. You look like you have to take a pee-pee or a poo-poo or both. Don't you guys know that if you pee, you don't have to poo, but if you poo, you have to pee? Like, what the? Ew. Sorry, that was nasty. I'm sorry. I've got a picture. That will give you chills. This photo is of Amy Song from 2017, and the strange part about the picture that you're looking at is that the picture is of Amy. We just don't know who took it. Amy was a college exchange student who was living in Central Florida at the time when she went on a hike by herself. Amy never came back, so her family as well as the school commissioned the police to work on a ground and aerial search while tracing her phone. The phone was eventually recovered. They found it near a swamp, and although Amy's body was never found, that picture was. A picture of Amy running through the water. So many questions have continued to surround this case about what really happened to Amy out there and who took the photo of her. Dang it, man, I need you to solve the case, okay? Don't be just telling me about cold cases. I need a happy ending, okay? You can't be telling me this, like, oh, this girl, she got lost in the woods. See, in the woods again, in the forest, and nobody knows what happened. They just saw this photo on the phone. It is a creepy photo, like her just running. You can like barely see her face too. It's sad, man, I don't know, like that could have been a photo of her like running from her kidnapper or something, like, ugh. I mean, all the technology we have and we can't find out like what actually Actually happen. I leave it up to you, my boy in the front, okay? You have to do it, all right? And if you don't have the solved case on my desk by five o'clock, you're fired. And I'm gonna take your nose rings. <gasps> oh. <coughs> yeah, that's your child. What are you doing? Okay, that, bro. What is with these creepy babies? It's not funny, why are you laughing? You sicko? He's walking, he's bow-legged. Bro, go to bed. Oh, nope, nope, I'm done, man. Police. I'm putting you up for adoption. Are you okay, baby? Bro. Police. Man, you better stop playing. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Run, man! Go! Go! Dang! Why is this scary in broad daylight, too? Girl, you put this ghost girl doll on skates? Like, what the heck? <laughs> These kids are bored. You gave her rollerblades. That's the scariest thing you could do to a demon. Imagine a dang demon rolling on rollerblades, <laughs> just skating down the street. That's scary. This is your fault, girl. You gave the demons technology. Now we'll never make it because of you. You know what? My kids are not getting dolls. No dolls, no creepy toys like this. Not today. Mom trying to make good dinner, trying to do the dishes with her big old booty. Mm, she got a big booty. Uh, <coughs> Anyway. So years ago, this older woman was living alone in her home in Denver. She had recently broken her hip, and before she went to the hospital, her house felt fine. But when she came back, something felt off. Like it would sound like her caretaker was in the other room, but when she would go in, no one would be there. There were also way more like bumps in the night, and sometimes those bumps sounded like footsteps. Eventually, this woman starts thinking that her house is haunted. But one night, her caretaker is getting ready to leave for the day and she hears the noises. Uh-oh. And she's like, I have to check this out. I have to get to the bottom of what this no, is. No, you don't. So she goes to the back stairs where she hears the sound coming from and there she sees this skeletal man with sunken in eyes just staring back at her. And she loses it. She runs away screaming. 
She calls the police and the police come and search the house, but they can't find anyone until they check the attic and they see that there's this crawl space, which is about the size of a coffin that an adult man had been living in. <gasps> yeah, and he had been there for nine months. How the heck has somebody been living in your attic for nine months and you didn't know? What was that? That's bad. There ain't no food or water up there. The only way to get to my attic is, I'm not gonna tell you which room it's in, but if somebody's up there, I, I definitely would know. Cause the only way to get down is through my bathroom and I'm in that bathroom all the time. So you ain't, mm -mm, you ain't sneaking around. Ah, look where we paused the video. Girl, you're making a weird face. What is that? She's making a face like I just grabbed her booty. Like, like she's just like. Did you really just grab my booty? Yes, I did. You said I could, you promised in my dream, but you know, we good or uh, is this gonna get weird? I'm sure it's fine. Who's that? Your mama. <gasps> oh no. Go back. Bro. Stop, that's just creepy. Why do you have a room like this? You have a room with all these creepest, scary characters. Oh, it's all fun and games until your house is actually haunted and all these things start moving on their own. Mm -mm, man, I guarantee you, it's probably a party at night up in there. They probably be talking it up, chopping it up, just talking about all the people they mur 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 murdered. Ew, look at that one grandma thing's foot. Ew, why is your foot so, ew? It looks like an overgrown raisin. That's nasty. You can't walk on that. You gonna need some help, girl. You gonna need to take your butt to the orthopedist or something. Look at pumpkin head at the bottom left. He just chilling. You as high as a kite. Look at his eyes. He has no idea what's going on. Somebody tell him that it's October <laughs> and to wake up. This is the scary story about learn to count. A man and wife picked their daughter up from a friend's birthday party. And she when learned to count? Home, they brought their daughter to her room and put her to bed. Okay. Then the wife went to her bedroom to read a book before she went to bed. And the husband went downstairs to watch the baseball game on TV, but he fell asleep on the couch. Late that night, the man woke up to his daughter tugging on his shirt and whispering, Daddy, Daddy, guess how old I'm going to be next month. The man then slipped on his glasses and said, I don't know how old. His daughter then smiled and held up four fingers. It's 7.30 in the morning now, and the man and wife have been up for almost eight hours, and their daughter refuses to tell them where she got the fingers. Wait, what? Oh, where she got the fingers? Oh, oh, I just got it. She held up four fingers like she, what, she cut off somebody's finger? What the heck? I swear, kids are just evil these days. Like, what's wrong with you? Girl, what is up with them eyes? Yo, Red Eye, you ain't Superman. You ain't got laser vision. She got demon vision. I mean, dang, somebody need to take her to get an exorcism. If my kid, if my child, if my daughter, my son, whatever, if you come up to me holding up somebody else's fingers, I'm dropping you off at the fire station. That's all there is to it, okay? No questions asked. I'ma tell you we're going to Disneyland, but I'm dropping you off at the fire station. And it's not gonna be the fire station down the street, okay? We going all the way to Afghanistan stand and I'm gonna drop you off at one of their fire stations and then I'm gonna fly back and then I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my life without you holding up people's fingers you demon I hope you like war and jihad <laughs> uh, I, I'm just kidding sorry creepy images caught in the background of photos oh two friends just having oh <gasps> oh you're not alone oh that face though oh just the old time wait are you, s you demon girl, is that the same girl that was holding up the fingers? Mm-mm, nope, nope, not today, man. You ain't gonna be scaring me up in my own house. I know good and well, this was the last photo y'all ever took, that y'all were never seen again. Sorry to hear it. And then this girl, like, okay, to be fair, it could just be her eyes just look like glowing because of the, the camera or something, or she could be a demon. Don't peek out of the room looking like, nobody peeks out the room like this. When you do that, you make it scary and weird. You wanna be dropped off at the fire station too? I'm just gonna keep threatening my kids like that. I'm just gonna be like, if you don't get your homework done tonight, I'm dropping you off at the fire station in Afghanistan. Oh, and there ain't no electricity over there, so good luck trying to watch SpongeBob, you jerk. There's electricity over there, but they don't know that. Imagine trying to go to sleep when you see this. What would you do? Uh, <gasps> Are you afraid of me? Yes.
Are you serious? What was that? You got somebody in your house trying to mess with puppets asking, are you afraid of me? Uh, this is why I keep my doors closed, okay? Like at night when I'm going to sleep, door is locked. Closed, lock is barricaded. You ain't getting in. You know why? Because of stuff like this. Dang, you got people trying to mess with you at night. It's three o'clock in the morning, man. You can't be doing this. I ain't got time. Just messing with me, bro. I ought to shoot you in the face. Quit playing games, messing with me. This is your fault, girl. You in the front. Yes, you. Showing me this stuff, girl. I ought to cut your hair. And then I'ma take the hair and I'ma save it for my concoction. I'ma put it in a cauldron. Oh yeah, and we gonna be bonded forever. Little llama. Wake up, bitch. Don't flick it. I did. The heck? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh no, oh. <gasps> what the? Oh, sh <laughs> oh, God. Bro, <laughs> demon llama. Yeah, that that's a toy that you found at a garage sale? That's not a toy, that's a totem. Used by witches. Oh my gosh. Like the light up eyes and then the long neck. That thing's looking like a dang furry giraffe. Ew. Can't go out like that, man. Mm -mm, not today. You ain't gonna get me with your pink belly. I will literally get my iPhone and I'll stab you in the stomach. I hope you like iPhone 12s. Yeah. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one. Peace.